Hello everyone, Mr. Nacho here, and today I wanted to bring you the unexpected sniper build, which is basically my shotgun build for the two weapons. One of them is Ford Scudder Gun, the other one is the Bulldog. Both of them have quite terrible reload speed, but they all have great damage. The range suffers quite a bit, because it's only 10 meters for both of them, but we will increase it to 20 meters, thanks to long shot and targeting jewel. The main archetype is the hunter and the secondary is the gunslinger. We are using hunter's mark and bullet storm. This is pretty standard hacks build. Uh, the armor that we are using is the Leto mark to helmet and chest. We are using trainer work boots and the labyrinth gloves. So this is the most optimized build for 75 weight. So if you want to copy it, this will be the most armor that you can get at this weight threshold. The armor in general is up to you. I just like this setup. I've been using different ones. I've been using the 50 weight one, which would be this. It's the most armor that you can get at this threshold. This is just the two of the setups that I use. It just depends on what kind of role you prefer, whether you prefer the, to have more defense or not. It's really, really up to you. For the relic, we are using the Tranquil Heart with the ranged crit chance, weapon spread and weak spot damage. The weapon spread allows us to make this weapon basically a sniper. We can also use the hunter's focus if we are going to be really long range, which would be really nice for annihilation or mother mind. It just depends on the range that you want to engage your enemies at. But still you will see that with this build you are easily able to one tap most mobs on the apocalypse difficulty, do a lot of damage from range to bosses and let's go back to the build. So the weapon is Fort Scudder Gun with corrosive and momentum and this will be the exact same for Bulldog. When it comes to the melee weapon I like the Huntress Spear now, whatever you want to use really up to you. And the secondary is Enigma with the extender mod on it. It really helps it to not run out of ammo so fast and it, and it helps to reload fast. This is really really nice. When it comes to the jewelry, now we have some choices. This is just an example build. In the amulet slot I have the Jester's Bell, but you might as well just go for the Golden Ribbon or you might want to go for the Gunslinger's Charm. They all behave similarly, they all output similar DPS. Um, this is just your personal preference. I like the Jester's Bell the most because it also has the cast speed for mods and skills. 35% is no joke, it's really nice to use, it just feels good to me. Then we have the standard rings, so it's the same as Malice and the probability core for the damage. Just to have our corrosive rounds all the time, we are using the Stone of Malevolence. And to increase the range and to decrease the spread, we are using the targeting jewel. So this is the basic setup. If you are going for the Bulldog, I would recommend just engaging uh, enemies at the closer range and then using the blackout ring to increase the reload speed. Same with the amulet, I would just recommend Gunslinger's Charm because the reload speed on the Bulldog is not really that good, but it can output some really, really good damage. So when it comes to the traits, we are using long shot, ammo reserves, regrowth, and fortify maxed, vigor, expertise, handling, and fitness maxed as well. Then we have seven points in untouchable because it increases our evade window by 21%. We have 10 frames which is 21%, it's just two frames. I don't know if there are any extra partial frames, which would be at the eight points, we would get 24%. So I'm not sure whether this would do anything. So I just put one point into triage to get that bonus healing. And let's see how this gun performs at the shooting range. So you want to pop the hunter's mark first, then the corrosive rounds, and then the bullet storm to optimize the DPS. As you can see, we are about 4,000, maybe 4,500 sometimes. This DPS is really nice. Yeah, we are about 4,000, quite stable. So...
yeah, we can go back up almost to 4,000. So this is a really good DPS for this weapon. Okay, so let's see how Bulldog compares with the exact same setup. Yeah, also about 4000 DPS, it dips a little bit and the reload is really long, but uh, 4000 DPS should be there, it's also really nice and it's fully automatic so you don't have to worry about clicking every single time you want to shoot, but it chews through ammo much quicker than Ford Scudder gun. I've prepared a clip or two for you as well to showcase the build, so I hope that you enjoy it and see you in the next one.